Hello beautiful people and welcome back to another makeup artist series on my channel. So the makeup artist doing my makeup today is Tenille and she is one talented lady. So she is based in Brisbane and she does majority of makeup for photo shoots like for Princess Polly. She just does like modeling really gorgeous flawless skin, bronzy eyes, glowy face like I just love her style and I was like, you need to do that on me one day. So we met up and we filmed this and I hope you guys enjoy it. We're just going to get straight into it. So first she goes in with skin. She said she got this toner from Japan and it basically just like firms and tightens and like plumps the skin. So she's just putting that on first. So she does all the base skincare and then she moves on to eyes and then goes back to foundation. So she's doing that and then she's using the Tarcha, um, the water cream. This is really nice. I've tried it on myself before, but I try not to use it too often because it's expensive, girl. <laughs> um, so she's just putting that all over to moisturize my face. And then to fill in my pores, she's taking the Tarcha, the skin canvas. And it's basically just like a pore filler, really similar to professional, but a little bit more luxe. Um, so she's just using like a little stippling brush, which is what I would normally use for doing this as well. Actually, no, I don't think it's a stippling brush. It's like a flat sort of, yeah, it's like a flat kabuki brush. So she's just really pressing that into my skin. And then she's going in with the Laura Mercier Radiant Primer and popping that all over as well. So what I found interesting about Tenille's technique is she goes in with under eye concealer first. So she's taking the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard and just using a, I think this is just like an eyeshadow blending brush, but I think the hairs are synthetic. Um, and then she's just patting her fingers um, in to blend the foundation underneath, sorry, not the foundation, the concealer underneath the eyes. And I found that sometimes when I do this, it actually really melts the concealer into the skin because of the warmth of the fingers. So I think I might actually try doing this. I used to do this years ago and then I just used brushes and beauty blenders ever since, but it is a really good technique for um, really blending that concealer into the under eye area. Then she's just putting on some lip balm to hydrate my lips. She's also just placing a really light layer of that same NARS creamy concealer all over my eyelids just to cover all of my veins and stuff like that. Then she's taking the Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base by NARS. This one's the darkest one, and I found this really interesting. I was like looking at her like, what are you doing with that? Like, But she's just using a fluffy brush, and that is what her base to her brown, gorgeous, smoky eyes is. So she puts down this the Smudge Proof NARS Concealer, the darkest shade, and she just blends that out seamlessly, and that's her base. And then over the top of that, is when she puts her eyeshadows, which I think is super clever. And then she's smudging that underneath um, my lower lash line as well. So that explains why she does the concealer first because she likes to do the top and bottom shadow all at once. Whereas I like to do it last when I've set my concealer and everything after I do my eye makeup. So she's just blending that dark concealer in. Then she's taking the Laura Mercier translucent powder and she's just using that to set that area just so when she uses the eyeshadows, it just blends a little bit more seamlessly. Then for the palette, she's 
Then for the palette, she's using a Melt Cosmetics palette. This one's in Gemini. I'm just so embarrassed to show it because it looks so tattered. Don't worry, girl. Half of my eyeshadows look like this. Um, she's taking like a coppery, like orangey based color. And she said like this palette is life for her. She loves it and uses it all the time. So she's just going into the crease and blending it in. Then she's also taking it on the lower lash line. Then she's taking a darker color from the palette and just using that on the top lash line and just blending that out into the outer corner and a bit into the crease as well. You can see what she's doing. <laughs> Then she's taking this yellow, which I think looked really nice as a transition to the browns. Um, and she's just using that to transition those colors together. By the way, she does this so quick. Like she did this look in like 45 minutes. I was like, what? So my camera was playing up that day and we lost footage of the foundation, but not to worry because all we missed was the application of the foundation and she used the Dior Backstage. That was the first time I ever used it and it was amazing, like literally amazing. I think I'm gonna go buy it. Then she's using the Laura Mercier to set the under eye area and then she'll use that to set the rest of my face as well. This is just a highlight powder. I think she said it's in the sh um, shade highlight one, but she's just basically pressing that into my skin to set the um, foundation. Then she's taking a combination of MAC Give Me Sun and the Hourglass Luminous Bronze Bronzer and just using that on a massive fluffy powder brush and just using that to bronze up my face. Then she's taking a Tom Ford highlighting duo. I'll leave everything listed down below for you guys anyways, because she struggled sometimes to show the products. And she's just placing that on the highest points of my cheekbones, Cupid's bow, bridge of my nose. And yeah, I look glowy AF. Then for lips, for lip liner, we also lost this footage. Um, she used... Strip Down by MAC, and then the lipstick she used was a Charlotte Tilbury, the Kim K one, um, in the shade called Kim KW. And then the Marc Jacobs Gold Lip Gloss, I don't remember the name, but it's limited edition. Um, and then she took this eyeliner and placed it in my waterline. And then for blush, she used this um, Tom Ford blush duo as well. But as I said, I'll leave everything listed down below for you guys.
And that is the final look done. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I absolutely loved this look. I think she nailed it. I think I looked like one of her models that she posts perfectly on Instagram every day. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying my makeup artist series and let me know who you'd like to see on my channel next. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Yeah,